While the Civil War raged between the North and the South, there swept across the border from Missouri into the free state of Kansas, a renowned force of guerrilla troops, led by a Confederate officer. Unbeknownst to the men who blindly followed him, this leader was no longer considered a legitimate soldier by either the South or the North. He was William Clark Quantrell, Jayhawker, border ruffian, freebooter. His destination, Lawrence. On to Lawrence. That's Quantrell. Get out of sight, Mr. Travers. Come on. a quarter of a mile south. Guns and ammunition in the basement hardware store being held for a new company of recruits. Dead men can't use them. What about the list? Here they are. The men you wanted, and where they live. Todd! Run down every man on this list and kill them. With pleasure. You're not taking Todd. any prisoners? No. Any money in there? 10,000 in gold. Break it in! Oh, Jim, don't. You ride with this madman, this gorilla, to rob, burn, torture, and murder defenseless people. I am a soldier. It's war. War! The Confederates don't recognize Quantrill as part of the Southern Army, and the North will hang him on sight as an outlaw. Shut up and open that safe. Do it, Jim. No, I won't. It won't save me. Oh, you must. Break it open. You have eaten at my table, spy. <laughs> it wasn't part of the plan to murder civilians. Mm -hmm. Civilians? <laughs> Yankee free soilers. You've done well, Lieutenant. <laughs> You'll share in the glory. Take whatever you want from this town. Mrs. Martin, please go. There's no help. Remember this day, Travis. Remember it well.
trail to get himself another spy. Now turn those horses loose that Lieutenant Travis found. Hurry. Not for me. Two hundred and three hundred butter. Oh, Jeff, quit bluffing. I'm calling you. Can you beat two big sevens? Easily with two little nines. I threw away three tens. I had a low straight. The pot was mine. Need some money? Some help? In a game with you, anyone will need help. How about dealing me a good hand? Not a chance. I'm out to break you. That's a dirty trick to do to an old friend. In a card game, I don't have any friends. And neither do you. You're playing like a rube. Man's only as good as his cards. You always played a much better hand when you were holding nothing. What's on your mind tonight? Nothing. I open. Big on Lawrence again, huh? all over, Jeff. Forget it. All right, it's forgotten. Just like that. Lawrence, Kansas. It was Quantrill's biggest day. I'll never forget it. Nobody will forget. That is, nobody who's still alive. They looted and burned the town. Quantrill and his men slaughtered 150 women and children, too. And all because of the work of one spy. Ever meet a Quantrill man, lady? Look, friend, why don't you take your talk somewhere else? Quantrill's dead, along with everything that went with him. The war is over. This wasn't war. There were thieves, cutthroats, and murderers. What do you say, mister? I'd like to run into the man that set up that massacre. Think you'd know him if you saw him again? Sure, I'd know him. What difference does it make now? He was only a soldier doing what he had to do. I was in the room with him when Quantrill murdered my best friend. I could never forget him. He's sitting there now, the spy. Outside, they won't dare follow us. spy. Jeff, get over the side. Now, go to Jules Moret, Prescott, Arizona Territory. Get back inside. Oh, please, Jeff, go. I can't leave now. Somebody will have to answer questions. Questions? You're a Quantrell Raider who killed two men. But I... There'll be a Yankee judge and a Yankee jury. What chance have you got? Oh, please, Jeff, go. I'll catch up with you later. Don't follow me, Josie. Did you see him? Where is he? Who? Where the 
Coast Army wagons going. Fresh could ain't the capital no more. They're moving all the territorial papers to Phoenix. <laughs> this town got too rough for them. That's the Mamisto Blue Jacket! Take your good government to Tucson! Come back when you get your furlough! <laughs> <laughs> We're wide open now! <laughs> Conroy, another holdup. Good work, Jake. You got through anyway. Uh, that ain't good. I should have bagged one of them bandits. Well, I'm glad they didn't hurt you. Thanks. This town is a disgrace to everyone in it. We all know, but it takes time, Shelby. Things will change someday. But when? All we do is talk. Nobody has the courage to do anything. We're controlled by riffraff, and it's getting worse all the time. Don't worry about it, honey. We've held our own so far. But how long can we keep on doing it? The stage was just robbed. That's the second time this week. You wouldn't get me to ride on that stage. Funny thing, they don't touch the people on that stage. I'm sorry they made me throw off the strong box, Mr. Conroy. Nothing in it but rocks. Get me that carpet bag, will you? You got rocks in there, too? No. This is full of newly minted coins. Hmm. Well, ain't that mighty careless carrying around a fortune in an old bag? No, it's safer. That's why we never tell you where we hide the gold every trip. We fooled them again. Yes, sir. <laughs> never tell me where you put the gold. What I don't know, nobody can squeeze it out of me. <laughs> Hey, mister, I feel bad about spooking your horse. Maybe I could buy you a drink or something to fix it up. Not just now, thanks. Uh, you're a stranger around here. My name is Jake, Jake Hooper. Is it? Uh, how do you like it? Oh. Oh. Kind of wild. No, this is tame. Only one killing last week. Not too bad. Well, that ain't good to move the state capital out today. Ain't no place for an honest man now. Then why do you stay here? Oh, it's comforting to know that you live in a town that can't get no worse. Gonna put up the juniper? Yep. That's the best place in town, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, ha, I didn't get your name. That's right. Gaddy sort of color. Certainly got a lot of relatives around here. They come from a big family. <laughs> you know Jules Moret? Well, he owns this place and a piece of most everything else around here. How do people feel about it? Some like him and some don't. Where do you stand? Well, he owns this place. 
I'm looking for him. I'll try his room, 201. 201. Oh, pay for the first day, please. <laughs> He's the 13th John Smith in this house now. Well, I hope he ain't superstitious. <laughs> to see him here. Well, you can wait. He'll be along. You ride a careless horse, mister. The way you ride, you'd better walk. <laughs> Don't ever do that to me again. lack of hospitality. Let him go. I must apologize for my men, but we both know the civilization ends with the Mason-Dixon line. We were just getting acquainted. You can't get away with that. Neither will you. I sent you for gold, Slager. You brought me back rocks. Come in, Lieutenant Travis. Take a chair. Too bad Josie isn't here. Old friend of mine, you know. On the boat, you threw the knife. Could I stand by and let an old comrade at arms be slaughtered? You don't remember how we brought them at Lawrence. We fought under the same flag and under the greatest leader, William Clark Quantrill. I had two schools of thought on that. So in a way, I owe my life to the writers. <laughs> No, you owe it to me. And I know a good gambler always pays his debts. There's a payoff, huh? Oh, there's always a payoff. Well, it depends. I have a job for you. A job for which you have unusual talent. Here's to it. Hey, Jules, Vegas is coming up. Jules, old friend. What make you so nervous? <laughs> you jump so. Your manners take us. Don't you have a knock? No, I'm always surprised. I just sneak in. Now we talk. This is Shorty, my partner. Oh, listen, he don't talk good English like me. Is that right, Shorty? Yep. Who's him? Just a stranger. No more? That isn't your business, is it? Oh, he's not afraid. The man talks back, but he don't care any guns. What do you think about, Shorty? He'd get riddled. Riddled? Oh, boy, he get killed. Hmm. You friend of my old friend, I make you a little present. You need it. When I feel the need, I'll carry a gun. Oh, come on. Take it. Stick it in your pocket. You never know. Thanks. All right. Now, Gillis, for why I come to see you. Last night, one of my boys, my good old friend, Kansas, he was in town. Have a little fun. And he don't come back. You think he's here? Where else? Kurth. Bring Kansas in. <laughs> There's your man, Degas, if you still want him. There's the knife he tried to stick in my back. You push me too hard, Julius. You know your place. Don't interfere with my operations in this town. But we was in here first. But now I'm in and you're out. 
Get back to the hills and take that scum with you. Here, yeah, take it back. You may need this one, too. I have plenty more. Next time we meet, maybe you need it. Come on. One of the minor problems I have to contend with. But Degas is nothing to my real problem. I intend to leave Prescott a millionaire. You've set your sights pretty high. Yeah. Millions of dollars in raw gold flow through this town for the mines. I intend to divert part of the flow. Every ounce of it moves out on Conroy's stage line, and Mr. Conroy has an annoying way of hiding when and how the gold is shipped. Now, the eyes you use for Cornfield at Lawrence should do a shopper job here. I'd like to get one thing straight. When I realized what Quantrill was, I left the Raiders, joined the Confederacy, and fought in the open. <laughs> well, it didn't help much. We lost the war anyway. Lee surrendered, but I never will. The Yankees ruined the South. Now they're looting it. So you're doing some looting on your own. Taking Yankee gold is legitimate business to me. Now, get yourself settled. I'll see you tomorrow. And by the way, you'll use the name Mark Stone. Mark Stone. You know, Moret, I think you'd steal Conroy's gold, even though it wasn't for the South. <laughs> like to you. Dad, Mark Stone from the Cotter Detective Agency. Our Chicago office uh, notified the Western Division that you had written for an agent. That was many weeks ago, Mr. Stone. Why all the delay? I was on assignment on the Rio Paso. I had to finish that job first. Didn't they tell you how this town is being strangled? Not all of it, but from what I've seen, I have an idea what's going on. These robberies are costing us more than money. They're killing transportation, our lifeline. Now that the government's moved, decent people are starting to leave. There are times when it's wiser to get out. That's strange talk from a man we hoped would stop these outlaws. Perhaps it doesn't mean anything to him as long as he gets paid. Wait a minute, Miss Conroy. I was wondering why you should stick around on the chance of getting yourself hurt. You don't understand, Mr. Stone. This is our home. We live here. I was born in Arizona Territory. Dad's given everything he has to this country. My mother gave her life. Now, this country owes us something, and we just can't be driven out that easily. No. No, I guess not. You'll have to give me a free hand, Mr. Conroy. Anything you want. Put me on the books as a shotgun guard. It's best that no one knows what I'm here for. Of course. I'll do my best to help you both. Good day. I like him. Got a match? What's going on? Any trouble? None. What happened to Mark Stone, the real owner of that letter? There was none. We intercepted Conroy's letter to the agency and forged identification papers. We'll have some fast action now. I'm afraid you'll have to wait till I learn something. You've already wasted three days before even going to see Conroy. Well, I had to do some planning. I found that in playing for big stakes, Mr. Moret, you better make sure you hold the right cards. <laughs> Enjoy, me, senora. We make another long trip soon. I'll make it more beautiful for you. Oh, uh, no. Thank you. And uh, you shouldn't play with those guns like that. You had me worried. Oh, if I worry you, I shall cut off this hand right away. Well, please wait till after supper. Where's the hotel? I'll take myself to the Juniper house. Take the ladies' bags. Why do I have to work while you get the girl? Because I'm a gentleman. You're a frightener.
this uh, juniper house, I hope it has plenty of hot water. Sure. Very fancy. They have plenty of water. You have a nice clean up. Well, the boss murdered it. He's a pig of a... Jules! My old friend. Are you waiting to greet me? What were you doing on that coach? Got a Tucson by clothes. Fancy, no? How do you like it, stranger? That woman, where did you meet her? In Tucson. We make a friends quick. Oh, she loves to ride in the stage with me. You rode the coach to check the route to find the best places of holding it up. Maybe. Maybe I like to see the country. I ordered you to stay away from those shipments. Since when you ordered me? I told you. If you or any of your breed step foot into this town again, I'll have you torn apart. Pieces thrown to the dogs. He talks. I don't talk. Shorty, shut up! Well, sorry, Lieutenant, I disobeyed orders. But wouldn't I be foolish now to do everything men told me to do? You're a long way from home. <laughs> I was a minute ago. Why did you come here? Well, you see, I was on my way to California, and I figured you'd never seen the Pacific Ocean, so... No go, Josie. Don't forget, you're a wanted man. And California's a lot farther from Louisiana than Arizona territory. Wanted man can't be choosy. He stops where they let him and travels fast when they don't. That doesn't sound like you. Well, once you learn to toss your conscience out of the window, nothing matters. You don't believe that. Why shouldn't I? Well, let's not argue. Let's go downstairs and have a drink to our reunion. Sure. By the way, you haven't even told me you're glad to see me. I'm glad to see you. You play women like you play cards. I'll toss in. Fish in a barrel. 
Well, make sure you don't grab a sack full of grain. It's gold we're after, and Stone said it's in those sacks. I know, I ain't feeble-minded. Degas and his gang went action today. I had to run out. Why didn't you stop when you saw my man? I thought they were part of the Degas bunch. You better take a good look next time you pull that trigger. You shot my hat off. Had I known it was you, I could have done better. You're not doing the job I want, Travis. I wouldn't say that. I would. First whack who get it a worthwhile ship and you crumb it up. I'm the talking slagger. He's right. From your lead so far, what we've been able to take off the stage is won't keep our horses and oats. So? Well, this might interest you. The stage leaving Phoenix is carrying over 25,000 in new money. It'll be in the water cask in the boot. If these two bright ones will do as I say, they'll get it without trouble. Conroy tell you this? His daughter. It'd better work this time. I have a lot of patience, but I can't say the same for Mr. Kurth and Mr. Slager. They need money. So do I. King wins. Jack loses. King wins. Ten loses. Try that one. Queen wins. Three loses. Never argue with a lady. Well, let's keep it that way. Six wins. Queen loses. What are you going to do for dinner? My, uh, previous engagement, Josie. Would it be at the Conroy's? 
I don't mean to neglect you, but my job has been taking up most of my time. Eight wins, five losers. Yeah, he have a very mean boss. Maybe we'd find more privacy somewhere else, like California. Where'd you get that idea? The other day, when I saw your mean boss. Four wins. You brought me luck. Well, I keep telling you we're a great team. Get down from that box, and we better not find any rocks today. Come on over here. Where is it? Come on, Bridge, you hide it. I never know. Please don't. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Stone, the boss wants to see you. Which boss? The one who pays him. Sorry, right, Josie. Business. Your business comes before my business. Why, uh, keep on playing them, Josie. Seven wins, Jack loses. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mark. You know, you make that gown look mighty pretty. Why, thank you. It's brand new. You know, Frank, there's a rule of nature that can only be one filly in a pasture. Oh, Mark Stone, he's a nice fella. Remember Shelby Conroy, how businesslike she used to be, no time for frills? Yeah, she's even neglecting her bookkeeping chores. I tell you, it's a marvel the way Mark has put color back in her cheeks. Six wins, ten loses. Hey, Jake's late bringing that stage in from Phoenix. There's nothing to worry about if you're thinking of the money shipment. Dad's changed the plan. Jake's not bringing the money back with him this trip. Of course... Mark! I've got bad news for you. I lost all your money. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, uh, Miss Conroy, Miss Sullivan. How do you do, Miss Sullivan? Uh, not the Shelby Conroy who runs the stage line. I don't run it. I only work in it. Oh. The way you kept telling me how businesslike and efficient she is, I expected to see some frazzled old lady, and you're really quite pretty. Why, thank you. But so are you. Mark is known for his good taste. We've been close friends for years. Why, Mark, you never told me. Why, uh, you never asked me. Jake should be in that driver's seat. Uncle Jake! Uncle Jake! Gone. They tore up the coach looking for gold. They couldn't find any. They started on Jake to make him tell where it was. They tortured him. They tortured him to make him talk, but he wouldn't. I was born in this country, and I've seen men fight and kill, but I've never seen anything as terrible as what they did to that poor man. He couldn't have told them there wasn't any gold because he didn't know. He always said, what I don't know, nobody can ever squeeze out of me. Even if he had known there was a shipment, Jake wouldn't have talked. No amount of gold could be worth that. It was more than a job. It was a trust. He put his heart into it. He lost his life. Now, 
what's all this? Oh, Jeff. Dad and I don't know what to do. We're so discouraged. That's new kind of talk for you, Shelby. We won't send out any more stages if it means death to those who ride them. I never thought they'd go that far. When the stages quit, decent people will leave with us. This town will be dead. Let the outlaws have it. And I thought you were a fighter. You yourself said if you tried to save a burning house, you'd go up with it. Oh, that's something I once heard a fellow say. Jeff, I know you've done everything you could to help us, but it's just too much for us. Dad and I are quitting, and you've got to quit with us. If they did to you what they did to Jake, I... Listen to me. Maybe there's still a chance, but I need the time. I want you to send out a stage tomorrow as usual, but no gold on it. No, I Shelby, won't. Shelby, I'm counting on you. Soon, real soon, I'll give you your chance. So you lied about the gold dust being on that coach. There was no gold on it. They killed for nothing. I told you he double-crossed us. Conroy held up the shipment the last minute. I didn't know. You say? The Conroys are making one big shipment. A hundred thousand dollars in gold. A hundred thousand? It'll be going through Raccoon Pass tomorrow. If there's a slip up this time... There won't time, be. I'll... I'll be driving that stage myself. Evening, Blackie. Good old friend counts us. The one you bet his brains out. Don't got any more. He died dead. No, don't do it. Give me a chance. Hold still. You want me to lose my bet? An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. No. Don't. the cop. First the gold. Tied him up. Tied him up. <laughs> Steady. Steady. How could I shoot? <laughs> Try to roast me with my own gun. Not at all. I came to return it. Now we have another little cup for you. And play a little trick on you, a stranger. It'll cost you a hundred thousand dollars to shoot me. What kind of a dirty trick is this? Rhett's getting stingy with my cut. That's why I'd hate to see him grab the hundred thousand dollars I'll be taking over Raccoon Pass tomorrow. What time, eh? About noon. Oh, I'm so sorry, my good friend. You wrecked the battle. I'd like to invite you a drink. Of course, I'll uh, want a third of the split. And there's Moret to get rid of. I wonder if you could take him. After all, he did drive you out of Prescott. Do you think we're afraid about Monsieur Moret? I don't know. He's got you living out here like animals. They, uh, 
But he wouldn't be expecting anyone to jump him from behind. What a dirty mind you have, huh? Get rid of Moret's gang. Who knows? You and I might do a lot of business together. I'll give you the best suite at the Juniper House when I take it over. I'll count on that. All right, shorty. Double legal. I can shut the nut from under the chin. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Pay me. I'd like to have a ticket on the stage to Ash Fork. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the one that goes through Raccoon Pass? Oh, yes. That's a wonderful trip. There'll still be snow on the ground and waterfalls will be frozen. Yeah, how much? Oh, $12. What's the matter? Nothing. I was just wondering how good a driver you were. Have a pleasant journey. I... I better take this run alone tonight. Nobody would expect going on a stage that didn't carry a guard. Tell Mr. Conroy. Don't mind if I run up top of you. Just keep it coming. change his mind. Slager's waiting for us up there.
gun. Grab it. Jules, old friend. What are you doing here? Call off your men. Quick. Sure. Sure. Hey, boys. Let's go home. It's all over. We made a mistake. Move out. Come on, let's go. See, Jules? All a mistake. All right. I go with my man. Just a minute. I'd like some explanation of this mistake. Kurth! Schlager! Where are you? Down here, Jules. What's left of us? Where's the rest? This place looks like a slaughterhouse. We're all that's left. They jumped us from ambush. It was a mistake. We come see men hiding on the rocks. Figure Sheriff was looking for us. Figure was telling him home quick. Where's the stage? Stone pulled out and the shooting started. I fell off on a turn. Excuse me, Julius. I'll pay you off someday. Now I go. So it was just a coincidence you were here at this pass. When the stage was passing through and my men weren't watching. Of course. Just a confidence. I don't believe in coincidence. Who told you to jump us here? If I had a gun... I have the gun now. Who told you? Nobody. Was it Stone? Your guns are useless now, Degas. Was it Mark Stone? Mark Stone? That's it. I think he pushed me off on the turn. Help me, please. Was it Mark Stone set up this ambush? I'm shot. I need help. You need help. First, tell me if it was Mark... Mark Stone? Mark Stone, shorty? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Get the coach and the horses out of sight. Put this in a safe place. And if anyone comes looking for me, all you know is I'm on my way to Phoenix. Smart. He's bound to figure you sold him out. Now you have to leave town. Are we on our way to California again? You'll have to go alone. I'll leave you here to get your head blown off? Come on, pack. Go someplace else then, any place, but go. You don't even have to tell me where. There isn't another one like you in this world, Josie. I know. I'm a great friend. I made a deal with Moret, but it didn't include murder. Now things have happened like Jake Hooper. And Shelby Conroy. I'm trying to square one debt I got into another that has to be paid. Find people have been hurt, people I thought didn't matter. Well, there goes my dream. All right, stay here as long as you like. But before they put your name on a slab in Boot Hill, you might as well know I, I lied to you. You're not a wanted man. There was a witness, a little Steve at all, who played the harmonica, saw the whole thing. From what he told, it was anything but murder. If I'd known this yesterday, Jay could still be alive. Why didn't you tell me? Because I knew I'd have a hold on you, and you'd have to keep running, and I'd be running after you. Well, don't blame me for using tricks to hold you. That that Conroy girl would use plenty if you meant enough to her. I don't even know if you're in love with her. Well, it doesn't matter. Now you can go to her with a grand confession, and I hope she understands. I also hope she kicks you out on your ear. Maybe she will. Where are you going? I need a drink, maybe five or six.
Glad you boys made it. What are the guns all about? You're not mad because I had to turn around again. There wasn't much else I could do. Moret all right, too? Find out who those men were. We also found out other things. Yeah. Your friend Dingus wouldn't talk. But Dutch had a loose mouth. Now stick out your wrists. Sit down. Why go to all this bother? I'll fetch jewels. Breathe deep, mister. While you can. Jules didn't want us to plug you. When he gets here, he'll skin the hide off your bones an inch at a time. Too bad, you're a dirty rat. Huh? No. No, I'd never be able to trust you. What do you mean, you can't trust me? Ah, oh, forget it. A scum like you'd probably cut my throat and keep it all. Hit me again and you'll probably jar my memory and make me forget why I hid the strong box. You mean you didn't bring it back to the station? You think I'd turn $100,000 back to Conroy? What do you take me for? I was packing to go when you boys came in. Too bad. Where is it? You better tell me. Yep. If I thought I could trust you, we might talk a deal. Just you and me, not Marette, nobody else. Uh, you're just talking to save your neck. That's right. You're wasting my breath on a big, stupid ox like you. You wouldn't even know what to do with it. Fifty thousand dollars on your own. Fifty thousand dollars? Yeah. I was figuring on going to New Orleans. Man could live like a king with all that money. Everything he wants. Beautiful Creole girls. He ought to see them. No women so pretty any place in the world. Skin like amber velvet, soft and smooth to the touch. They can drive a man out of his mind. They like a big man, a man with muscle, but it takes more than that. You gotta have money to spend, clothes, and a big diamond stick pin wouldn't hurt. Until you've lived like that, you don't know what living is. Ah, uh, but it takes a better man than you, Slager, to make up his mind what he wants. All right. 50-50. But I'm keeping this gun on you until I see the color of that gold.
or see again. You've been pushing to use that gun on me, Grace. I promised you the chance. What are you waiting for, Stone? You're afraid to face me, so now you're fixing to gun me down in the back? You don't deserve any better. Raise your hands. Higher. Higher, over your head. Turn around. You like it better this way, Kurt? Tonight. What's he done to you, Mr. Moret? What makes you think he's done anything to me? Oh, I don't know. You got a funny look on your face. Last time I saw it was just before you hung Jake's Barlow. Someday. Julius! Jules! Kurth is laying over in the alley dead. Stone killed him. He just stood there, cold as ice, and shot him down. Where did he go? I don't know. For him, too. Oh, go away. That's no way to talk. We've been friends for a long time. It was mostly as a favor to you that I helped Jeff. Helped Jeff? Used him, you mean? I'm a businessman collecting a debt. By this time, that Conroy girl knows all about you and that debt. I'm not worried about the Conroys. Yes, Jeff wasn't. She's probably twisting him around a little finger right now. Well, that's where he is. I didn't say that. But you did, my dear. When do you get a couple of notches in your gun? Did you ever shoot a man in the back? You know better. They saw it coming. They had a chance. That's the way we do things. We give and take our chances. Rafe, you figure that gun of yours now and again. Did you ever kill a man that never did anything to you personally? Only in the war. Otherwise, live and let live. That's the way I feel. Soldier, you know where the Quantrill Raiders were? Sure. Butchers. They used the war to cover up their murders and robberies. There's one of them in town now. He doesn't do things the way we do them. When he shoots a man, he shoots him in the back. And that's the way he killed Dan Kurth tonight. Well, he can't get away with it. Things like that can give this town a bad name. Yes, and we ought to do something about it right now. Let's take something along with us, like a rope. Sure. Let's get a rope. Come on, let's get a rope. Wait, he's lying. Murad is lying. What else could she say? She's in love with him. Come on, boys, let's go! Can't anybody stop him? Where there's a stampede, man, the safest place is up a tall tree. Quiet! Shoot him the minute he comes out. So that's what all the ruckus is about. Is that all? You've got to stop them. I can't try nothing like that without the sheriff. I don't know where he went. Hey, what are you going in there for? There's nobody there. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going Stay with that there. I can't understand it. Men like Degas and Mueller, yes, but Moret. He's still alive, out in the open now, and the killing's already started. I knew it had to be someone here in town. I would believe it was Moret. If I could only believe you. I've told you all about myself. Where I've lied, what I've done, and why I did it. There's nothing to gain by lying now. Of course he's telling us the truth. What can we gain against anyone as powerful as Moran? The house 
surrounded, Travis. You can't get away. You've got just 30 seconds. Send him out, Conroy. All right, Travis. We're coming in. Find him, you clumsy idiot. You all seem a little jumpy this morning. Have a drink. I'm the house, of course. Yeah, I do need an eye opener at that. You've been needing an eye opener all your life. On oh, layoff, Jules. It wasn't my fault he got away. Not this time. You know, I remember when he first came here. Right through that door. Now he's lost it for good. Do you really think you've seen the last of Jeff Travis? He won't dare show his face around here again.
What are you getting at? You think he'll come back? Don't you? He's not the running away kind. He'll come back. My men have blocked every street and alley into this town. They're good boys. They'll stop him. Sure, sure, they'll get him, Jules. A fly couldn't get through. That tall man's a lot smarter than any fly. Besides, you don't think those fellas are going to stand around and wait for Jeff to show up? They better. They have my orders. Your orders? Oh, you got the crowd last night when it was licking up and ready for excitement. They're tired out now. They've been up all night. Probably home right now, sleeping it off. Take a look. See if they're still there. Well, sure they are, Jules. I said look. Jules! Jules! They're gone, Jules. The dirty yellow dogs ran out on us. They couldn't. You begin to feel it, too? Shut up, Polly. Don't be so jumpy, Jules. Polly's only trying to tell you he sort of feels Jeff's presence. Now what? I thought I heard something. Feel how still the air is. Like just before a cyclone or a storm. Or death. Stop talking like that, or so help me out. Get hold of yourself. Sure. We got nothing to worry about. We can handle it. We always handle everything together. Both of us, huh, Jules? Good morning, Josie. Morning, Jeff. Later than I thought, and I've got things to do elsewhere. Sorry I kept you fellows up all night. I was sorry about all this, Jeff. We were too hot-headed. The two of us can still get together. Which one of your men killed Jay Cooper? Well, what are you looking at me for? I thought he was the one. Oh, wait a minute. That'll satisfy the Hooper killing. We can easily prove that you killed Dan Kurth in a fair fight. That'll satisfy folks all around. We'd both be clean. Jules, you wouldn't. How about it, Jeff? We can play out the string together. We could, Jules. But I'll give you a choice instead. Get out of here, Josie. Let me take you in so the law can hang you, or go for your gun. We'll finish it up right here. You're being kind of hard on me, Jeff. I'm giving you a better chance than you ever gave anyone. Jeff, look out!
Well, Jeff, how does it feel to be free of everything? To have all accounts square and settled? Guns never settle anything the right way. I'm through with them, Josie. Oh, but you're gonna need one in California. Sorry, but I'm not going to California. I know that's what you said. Jeff! I wish you'd reconsider. You could stay here with us. Run the stage if you like. Thanks, but it wouldn't work. I'm used to something that's more of a gamble. Would you please? Goodbye, Mr. Conroy. Shelby. Good luck. Always, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Thanks. Jeff, would you open the door, please? I, uh, scorched my hands a little in that fire. You want to fix them here or in California? Well, honey child, we'll fix them on the way. They'll heal in California. <laughs> 